Incidents of xenophobia have long been a problem in the country, and this year we've seen a number of incidents in which foreign nationals have been harassed or attacked. In most cases, it's by South Africans who claim that the foreigners are taking their jobs. Now, researchers have debunked five myths about foreign nationals in South Africa. Researcher Anthony Kaziboni is joining us now. He's from the Institute for the Future of Knowledge at the University of Johannesburg. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Welcome to today. Uh, firstly, before we talk about the myths themselves, that uh, the five uh, xenophobic myths about immigrants in South Africa, tell us about this research. When was this research done? Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for having me, Dan. This research was done in uh, May, June. Um, it was a combination of the Institute for the Future of Knowledge and we worked together with the Institute for Security Studies. What we did was we looked at different literature that exists on migrants from credible sources and we juxtaposed that across uh, the different myths that have been perpetuated um, by people, unfortunately, of uh, um, people in government and uh, politicians. So. The research actually relies on credible sources of data, such as the World Bank, say, the ILO. Okay. The, well, that one gets the sense that uh, it, it, is, it, it is from credible and authoritative sources that you've put together. I've seen the five myths. I just want us, for the benefit of our viewers, to go one by one so you can explain then what you found. The first myth is that South Africa is swamped with immigrants. What does your research show? So there's a common belief that uh, the immigrant population in South Africa is in the you know, tens of millions. Uh, one politician once commented that there are at least you know, 10 million undocumented migrants. So looking at uh, data from Statistics South Africa, StatsSA noted last year that there were 3.95 million migrants in South Africa. This includes both regular uh, legal and irregular illegal migrants. And this is also supported by um, the United Nations, which did a study in 2019 and estimated that figure to be around 4.2 million. So by looking at that, you can get a sense of the number of migrants uh, that are there in the country, regular or not. Some people have noted that because of porous borders, we can't. But um, from Stelzer say, the Chief Director for Demography and uh, Population, uh, Diego Teralde, explained this at length, and he notes that the population growth in South Africa cannot and should not be attributed to immigrants, but rather fertility. So again, this substantiates the, the finding that there are just about 4 million migrants in, in the country. About 6.5% uh, of the total population. Okay, myth number two, Immigrants steal jobs and employment opportunities from South Africans. What does your research find? This is a very contentious one because there, 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 there is a belief around migrants stealing jobs. And anecdotal evidence support that, supports that. And this is based on you know, the areas that migrants co congregate. These are also areas in which you find um, struggling South Africans, disadvantaged South Africans. And, you know, when you look at the distant labor framework from the ILO, it indicates that migrants take jobs that don't uh, conform to the, the framework. So in terms of uh, statistics, a study done by the World Bank again notes that um, for every one regular migrant, one illegal migrant, uh, jobs for two South Africans are created. So it's important also to note that migrants that are in the country involved in business tend to hire South Africans. Okay. Myth number three, and just to, to speed up a little bit in the interest of time, I want to cover all five. Fine. Immigrants contribute to or are responsible for high levels of crime. That's myth number three. What does your research show? So from the research, we looked at uh, figures that were provided by um, um, Justice Lamula, and these figures indicated that to an extent there is a proportion of uh, migrants in the country's jail, but there is no evidence that supports that migrants are responsible for most of the crime. 
And this can also be supported by um, comments that were made by the police minister two weeks ago when he noted that the South African jail is full, and I quote, of South African men and of the convicts that were there, 18,000 were only migrants out of the 544. Okay. And recently... Okay, we get the point. Uh, most immigrants are in the country legally. That's myth number four. Is that the case? Yes, migrants, migrants come into the uh, country regularly. However, unfortunately, due to issues that we're very well aware of regarding home affairs and issues around corruption, the effect of the pandemic, inability to finalize visas, changing of visa regulations also has meant that to an extent migrants come into the country legally and struggle to to renew their papers. And this can be okay. attributed to significant, uh, significantly to uh, the, the department's dysfunctionality. Okay, finally, Anthony, myth number five, migrants are flooding public health care services. I mean, we all remember what happened in Limpopo a few weeks ago. Yes, 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 yes. At, uh, at a 6.5% uh, population, it's statistically impossible for migrants to, to do that. And we're very well aware that the health department has had several issues around corruption, poor governance. So that should also be considered. Yeah. So basically your research will, will show that uh, there's a lot of scapegoating of immigrants in South Africa, which is not going to be helping in terms of addressing issues of unemployment, issues of rampant crime and uh, health care provision, improved health care provision. Indeed so, indeed so. What, we, what, we, what we're calling for is responsible leadership. The statistics around migrants are there. And it's important to not scapegoat because it undermines uh, social solidarity, it undermines tolerance, and it undermines the constitution as well as the social fabric on which South African democracy is based on. We need to understand that uh, migrants aren't responsible for the current problems that we have, and the government needs to aggressively ensure that the triple challenges are mitigated. Thank you very much, Dr. Anthony Kaziboni. He's from the Institute for the Future of Knowledge at the University of Johannesburg, just sharing with us their findings into a look at the myths, the five key myths surrounding foreign nationals in South Africa.